The thing I find most important is that I feel I can make a difference for Vistage members, in particular helping them assess risk from the wider economy. Uh, my main objective is to help them be at least a year ahead of the game so that if there's going to be a recession they're ready for it, if there's going to be an upturn they're ready for it. I think that's the dominant thing. The, the other thing is I really get a buzz dealing with people who have lots of energy and the ability to think and then act. So I think that's really important in Vistage. A whole bunch of people who've got the energy to make a difference for their business and for their lives. Good afternoon. Now, I'm not going to talk about the economy, because of course there's not a lot to talk about. But what I am going to talk about is strategy. And uh, strategy is one of those wonderful words that everyone has their own interpretation of its meaning. Strategy is not business planning. Strategy is certainly not budgeting. Both those exercises, budgeting and business planning, they use our left brain. That's the part of our brain that in the British education system we were taught to maximize the use of. Strategy uses right brain thinking. And right brain thinking is essentially outside in. It's creative, it's an imaginative process. That's what strategy is about. My definition of strategy is very, very simple. Strategy is the statement of your business's value proposition. Strategy is about positioning your business in a unique and distinctive, valuable way. And if it's not written in very, very simple English, then your customers, both actual and potential, aren't likely to understand it. You might, but most of your employees probably won't. The world we are in changes daily, and therefore we have to reform our thinking. And for me, the reforming of our thinking is a continuous learning process. And so it's all about adaptation, in order to adapt you have to learn but there's a loop you adapt you learn you learn you adapt and therefore there's no question for me and I'm sure it's for group members if I don't learn something new every day then it's not been a great day I want you to think about what I call positioning strategies there are a number of choices and I'm actually going to ask you to work with this simple idea in a moment. Very simply, on this axis, we have market focus or customer focus. This is who you wish to serve. You've got your value proposition clearly defined. That means there will be a lot of customers, potentially, who actually you don't want actually because what they want doesn't match up with your distinctive value proposition. So actually, one of the things to do is to be clear who you do not want to serve. Now, you can either have a broad approach or a narrow approach. And this can be uh, on a, it doesn't have to be on a geographic basis. In other words, you can serve a few customers of a particular type, but on a global basis or you can serve very many customers of all types on a local basis. But choosing your market focus is a necessity. Now along here, how are you going to make your margin? Are you going to be reassuringly expensive and be premium priced? Lowest cost. Now lowest cost is not lowest price. 
Lowest cost is a positioning where you intend to get the product or service in front of the customer at the lowest delivered cost in the market. The place not to be is in this box here, stuck. Now, what I want you to do, and you may have already dropped, jotted this down, I want you to spend two minutes and decide where your business is positioned in that matrix. Are you price premium? Reassuringly expensive? Are you lowest cost? Or are you stuck? Not a good place to be. So, if you can't place yourself in this matrix, and if you can't very simply, in English, describe your value proposition, you may have a business plan, you may have a budgeting process, but you haven't got a strategy. And in this environment, more than ever, you need to have that very, very clear value proposition that you can articulate, that everyone in your organization understands, and then you will have a competitive advantage, and indeed, in a shrinking economy, you will make money, more money than the other players in your sector. That's the whole point of having a strategy. Thanks for listening. In today's climate, the one piece of advice I'd give a business leader is to be totally authentic. Be absolutely honest with yourself, with your customers, and with your staff about what you can do, what the issues might be, and how you're doing. I think authenticity is the one thing. And uh, the characteristic of most Vistage members is that they are authentic. And uh, it goes a long, long way. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to present the, tonight the, for the first time been introduced this year, to the Long-Term Achievement Award. And the criteria for receiving this award, and we look upon this now as the highest honor bestowed upon a long-term, high-performing Vistage speaker who has consistently scored 85% or higher for both content and delivery by chairs and members over 15 years, continually exceeds the expectations of the entire Vistage community, and provides tremendous value to the members. Now, what the members say about this individual? Very stimulating. The speaker explains complex economic issues with clarity and enthusiasm. What can I say about a man who has predicted seven of the last three recessions? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> keyboard player extraordinaire, the man who is a contradiction in terms, he's actually an entertaining economist, Roger Martin Fagg. I'm amazed at getting this, I guess it's because I'm old uh, and I've been around some time. For me, a Vistage is a great experience. I learn something every time with a Vistage group and that's what keeps me going and makes it well, well worthwhile. Uh, so thank you all chairs for booking me. Thank you for keeping your groups together. And of course, if there was ever a time that Vistage was needed by the British community, it's now. So the membership should be expanding. So all I would say is get out there and expand it. Thank you so much.